Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Today we are going to be recreating this beautiful picture. I hope there's not too much glare. Um, this picture and um, we will be talking about the colors and their formulas and how they go on. So I guess formulas. Um, so you can see how they go on. <laughs> Didn't you just say that? Yeah, I did. Anyway, okay, so this is the Uncovered Salmon Run Pink Pursuit Soft Peony, which is the new one. Be the more. Someone was asking me if I can review the whole collection, but I can't because I don't have all the colors yet. So once I get all the colors in, then I can properly review the collection. But I don't have them because right now, you know, there's a little bit of a commotion going on with the world. So once everything kind of settles down, we'll get the colors. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one, Uncovered. This one is very faded, Salmon Run. I don't use it much. So the bottle is a little weird. Uh -huh. It's faded. So let's just not confuse the colors to this way. Okay, okay so let's start with Uncovered. I actually don't use this color too much. It's a nice color, but couple times I used it and it's kind of like it's a little bit it's not a little sheer it just doesn't have a amazing coverage and on some nails it tends to be a little tricky so mine are the perfect okay. nails to do this with huh yeah your, your nails are perfect perfectly imperfect you see what I mean <laughs> okay so this one goes in the light so this is exactly what happens with this color sometimes. Okay, let's see. Just a second coat might cover it. Okay, this we'll is find out. Salmon Run. It's another color that I don't use often. It's just, I don't know. Because I think I had, I had the same experience. And sometimes what it is with, with me is I use the color, hold on, once or twice and something kind of um, doesn't go well and I kind of forget about the color. It just goes on the shelf. With, yeah, it goes on the shelf. I just dip this in alcohol. Okay. All right, so the next one is going to be Pink Pursuit. That one is actually very nice. Uh -huh. It's a nice color. Sometimes with these more difficult colors, um, it is a good idea to um, use like a clear color underneath, like a um, like clearly pink or even bow underneath, to because then the the second coat will kind of go on better because it's almost like the color coats they cure drier, and the base coat cures a little bit more wet. I'm hoping I'm, uh, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit. Okay, I hope you guys can see it. Okay, so this is the new one and it's the Soft Peony. You know, one thing about, I don't know if, if it's just me, but it's the names are really hard to see. Yes. Like, really hard. Mm -hmm. Not that they're like silver on top of the color. Like this is much easier to see at the front. So if CND is listening, Probably they're not, but um, if they are, please kind of reconsider uh, making the the names for the colors at the fr on the front of the bottle. Okay, so this is the new one. So this one right away feels more opaque than the other colors. Oops. Fluffy, yes. There okay. we go. Mm -hmm. And beat them more. This is kind of a warmer pink.
Your nails are like kind of a, kind of like the nails from hell. <laughs> They're um, ridgy yeah. one way, the ridgy the other way. Okay, that's fine. They're just not fun to work on. But okay, that's so okay. we're gonna cure it for a minute, a full cycle, and we'll be right back. All right. Mm -hmm. So first coat is done. They're not very similar colors. They kind of compare them to colors that they're not that similar. Nope. But. Oh, no. Okay, uncover it again. Second coat. We'll see how this uh, covers. Let's see how this covers. See if we can make this as perfect as those lovely pictures. See, so if mm, doesn't cover that well, to be honest with you, there's something about this color. So if you apply too thick, it's going to wrinkle or it can wrinkle. So it might need a third coat. Mm -hmm. Okay, salmon run. So you'll see how they really go on. Because you know, not everybody, not every client will come in with these model nails. This is not bad. It's just not my color. I'm, I'm not too crazy about this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for suit. That one is, uh, I wish this, the color is so good, but I wish it had better pigment because it just kind of doesn't. I mean, I get it sometimes because the colors that have a little bit less pigment sometimes just are softer. It's not bad. It's a gorgeous color though. Okay, so this kind of uh, this kind of worked, right? It's it's a little bit on the thicker side. I kind of I kind of didn't really pull it to achieve that coverage. All right. So it is these two are the closest, right? So this is like a lighter version of this one. Mm. And it's a kind of a creamier version. By the way, um, we've applied the base coat. <laughs> CND base coat. And uh, one of the viewers was asking if you can use a different base coat, different top coats. No, uh, you know, no. And you need to use a proper lamp because that's how the products are designed. And I do believe that that's the safest way to go. Um, so if you are selling CND shellac as a system, then I think it's necessary. Should be purchased and used as a system yeah. front to back. Mm -hmm. With everything kind yeah. of that goes along with it. It's just my opinion. Yeah. It's just like, you know, when you're using Olaplex or some kind of like a treatment, like you don't want to be using a different product because you're like, oh, well, it's the same or it works the same. See, this one doesn't have also like this super rich coverage. Or are we just maybe cursed today a little bit? <laughs> Possibly. 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 Possibly I forgot how to paint. Did you touch something with the other hand? <laughs> okay. So we're just going to do on this nail a third coat. We're going to do a third coat. Let's see how this goes on. If we can cover it. Yep. How close can we get to those pictures? That's Perfect, mm -hmm. perfect picture. You know, it's still not perfect, but 
All okay. Right. So with this one, we're gonna use the uh, express five, and we're gonna do this off camera or on camera? Top card. Off camera. Okay. I'm using the 99% alcohol to wipe the sticky layer. So for this nail as well, I would suggest for, for nails ridgy like that to use color like a bow or one of those colors to just cover the, the ridges a little bit. And the difference between um, using a clear coat underneath, because someone has asked me, um, using a clear coat and then two coats of the opaque color and three coats of opaque color there's a difference because when you have three coats of opaque color it still goes on a little bit uneven right because you mm -hmm. have the the how do i explain it there's a difference in color so yeah it's better to just apply when you see rigid nails just apply a clear coat well what ends up happening is that you get the product that kind of pulls into mm -hmm. those those areas those um, those yeah. valleys in the nail, like if they're very rigid, like my own, and so then you get that uh... variation in color. Yeah, yeah. So you still get variation in color. Well, you're going to coats. continue to get that yeah. variation regardless, unless you have like five coats on there, exactly. and it's just so unbelievably thick. Yeah. So doing that other coat, it evens out without a color. So then you have like a, yeah. a good even surface. Yeah. Okay, and someone has asked me also about the oil. It's just a, from Invoke and I use Daddy oil. because I, I like it. Anyway, so let's just very quickly look at the colors again. And uh, I really like this color. I really, really do. It's just, I, would, I wish it was a little bit more opaque. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. What do you think? It's like, I don't care. They're interesting. It's pink. <laughs> yeah, they're interesting. Okay, so, uh, yeah, and then what's the difference between these two? It's funny. Uh, this one is much, much warmer between these two nails. Yeah, like this one's going to be... And it has a better... It's I think warmer. it has a better formula. And I love the brush, actually, of the new color. Am I, like, super in love with this color, to be honest with you? I'm not... It, it's funny because my brain right away goes through all my clients, kind of seeing who's going to like it. So obviously my opinion is very, very subjective. There's so, only one that I think would like any of these and that would be this one, potentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one. Anyway, so this is it for now. And on the next video, you will see these ones. And that's all I have. I have only the four colors. So we will see you in the next video. And we will. And make sure you like this to, to hit the like button, subscribe, go check out all of our other videos, our Patreon account. Uh, guys, let's be good to each other. You know, we're all kind of going through some tough times. Be awesome with one another. Have some patience, restraint, practice social distancing, wash your hands. Don't pick your nose. Don't pick your nose. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.